tracking something different on the map right now compared to yesterday. Look at that. Those are clouds. Haven't had a lot of those lately, so that means the atmosphere is starting to change, churning a little bit. We're going to help churn this cold air out of here. It will turn warmer, especially this weekend, so the flow is changing more from the west-southwest instead of that northerly Canadian flow that we've been getting and why it's been so cold lately. It's going to take a couple of days for us to really realize this change in temperatures will be not quite as cold this weekend. And with that flow changing, it won't be quite as sunny either. Hey, yeah, I can't have the best of both, right? Got to always have something to kind of and dot up the the forecast a little bit and will be clouds at that temperature tracker right now we're 13 at Idaho Falls it is pretty sad when it's warmer up in Montana you think of Montana colder than Idaho Falls 13 degrees it's warmer up in Butte to uh, Butte Montana 26 even West Yellowstone at 21 Pocatello rides the freezing mark but I'm liking that 52 Pendleton doing it again Warmest temperature on this map, 52. That would be just amazing right now, huh? Lucky them. Not so lucky for us, especially tonight. A lot of us will drop below zero. 10 below in Idaho Falls tonight, minus 7 in Rexburg. Staying just above zero by a few degrees in Blackfoot, 3 expected. Pocatello in town will be in the teens. I mean, we were nine last night, so I know that's not much of an improvement, but at least it's going up just a tiny bit. And you'll notice that tomorrow afternoon, almost at a high of 40. 39 to be exact. Well, far cry from that tonight for the Central Mountains. Three below in Salmon. Stanley not quite as cold as that 33 below zero we had last night. Expecting a low of minus 18. That's still way too cold to be out uh, any time in the morning or night. Clear sky for the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming. Minus 14 in Yellowstone. Island Park wants to join in with a minus 14 as well. About 10 degrees warmer and downy than Island Park. Minus four there. Looks like Montpelier another night at 17 below zero. Four above Milad City. And then tomorrow, we got some sunshine, but a couple little clouds just moving across the sky. We'll call it mainly sunny. High temperatures will actually rise above freezing in Lava and Milad City. A little bit of a heat wave just above freezing in Soda Springs. Mainly sunny for the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming. Only one spot on this board will get above freezing. Amazingly enough, it will go to Driggs at 35 for high tomorrow. It looks like Mackey will see a temperature just above freezing. Ledor and Stanley will be warmer than Chalice and Salmon. That's kind of odd. Mainly sunny for the Snake River Plain, near 40 in Pocatello, but only 25 in Idaho Falls. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Looking ahead, there's the warmer. 40s this weekend. Ooh, what happened to our storm on Sunday? Well, it's delayed. Uh, we got rain and snow possible Monday and a lot of wind. And it looks like we're going to keep those 40s around for a while. That'll be nice. That'll fall seven-day forecast. It's going to take a little longer to get above freezing. I think by Monday we'll see that and we fall back into the icebox on Tuesday, but above freezing Wednesday and Thursday. And next week overall, definitely warmer than this week. And that will also be the case, at least this weekend, than what we've seen lately for the Teton area. Snow likely Monday, but dry this weekend. Temperatures rising above freezing. For the Central Mountains, we get above freezing this weekend, 38, 35, and snow on Monday. A little bit colder, but keeping those 30s around for a while.